Medical cannabis measures failed again in our state despite growing momentum and support for the issue. Many thought a, a bill from a Republican senator creating a medical cannabis program in our state had the best chance of passing, but it still fell short. State Capitol reporter Chris O'Brien sat down with lawmakers on both sides of the issue to learn more about the future of cannabis in Tennessee. Despite it polling extremely high. My sister has sickle cell and she recently passed, but medical marijuana, if it was legal, is something that she could have used to manage her pain because she was in a lot of pain. Cannabis measures appear to be dead this year in Tennessee. The Senate Judiciary Committee voted down Tullahoma Republican Senator Janice Bowling's bill to create a medical cannabis program in our state. It grieves me. Now that sounds strong and dramatic, but it really does grieve me for the people of Tennessee because now 38 states have it. Tennessee does not. The committee has been a buzzsaw to cannabis legislation over the past few years. In fact, last year, roughly the same bill failed in the same spot, 6 to 2. This year, 6 to 3, with five of those six being the exact same as the year before. Bristol Republican Senator John Lundberg is one of those five. He says until it comes off the Schedule 1 classification and has more regulation, he's not for it. And I would be encouraged if we had the FDA or a... The American Medical Association says this is how much is needed to to alleviate this for whatever. Many people consider Tennessee to be one of the most conservative states in the union, along with Alabama and Mississippi. But even those two states have a medical cannabis program. It's just an abomination. I think that in our quest to become the most conservative state in the nation, we're actually depriving our own people of options they can have to save their lives and make them feel better. Still, lawmakers press on and promise this isn't the end of the fight. The bill is good. The bill really demonstrates seed to sale, everything that has to be done. In Nashville, Chris O'Brien. So why does cannabis continue to fail year after year, even though it polls extremely high? Well, one lawmaker told Chris, though voters heavily support it, they're not willing to consider it a deal breaker when they vote.